welcome back to Layla Lad. thanks for joining! Right, in today's video I am doing something that you have asked me to do, which is to test some of the things that I have received in recent subscription boxes. So, I've done the unboxings, we saw what we got, now it's time to delve in and see what these products actually do, see whether they work, what we think of them, whether they, we think they're worth the full value. Um, so yeah, let's just dig in. If you wanna see which products I chose to test out today, then keep watching, but before we crack on, make sure you are subscribed, please. Down there, subscribe, notification bell. Right, let's get on with it. Okie dokie, let's get crack a lack in. So, first, I think I'm gonna go for the primer. It would make sense to use that first, wouldn't it, really? Um, so this is the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Um, doesn't really tell me a whole lot on here. Let's get it up on the website and see if we can find some more information on this ear product. Okay, here we go. So this is on smashbox.co.uk, Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This uh, full size retails at £26 for 30ml and this is 7.1ml. Um, so it says, smooth and perfect the appearance of your skin and extend makeup wear with our best selling award winning foundation primer. It is cruelty free, marvellous. Uh, here we go, description. A transparent primer gel that smooths skin and blurs flaws. Excuse me, we don't have any flaws, thank you rude um it was developed to help makeup look better and last longer on set in a consumer study on 103 women after one week of use 93 percent saw blurred imperfections because they didn't have any um 93 percent saw smoother skin 91 percent saw minimized pores and lines 95 percent said it helped makeup <laughs> helped makeup go on flawlessly 94% said it worked well with the skin tone 94% agreed the foundation blended more easily Ooh, I'm interested in trying that out um, benefit makeup lasts hours and hours fills in fine lines and pores instantly glides on to give you a flawless finish Lightweight and oil free, protects the skin from environmental pollutants, damage and stresses with antioxidants, vitamin A, E and peptides. Ideal for all skin types and cruelty free. Right then. Oh, I did not know this situation. Uh, it says usage, smooth a layer over clean moisturised skin. Like so. Let to set for 15 seconds. Wear alone or under makeup. Can also be used over makeup for touch ups. <gasps> I don't know about you, but this is brand new information for me. Ooh. Right, let's just get into it then. So, I'm just gonna pop some on the back of my hand and then I can kind of do it that way because I need a mirror. Ooh, it looks quite silicone, eh? Which, elicks. I do like quite a silicone-based pore kind of filler in a kind of situation. So. I think I may have put far too much on the back of my hand. Right, on first um first thoughts, it is very, very uh, silky smooth. It glides on beautifully. Sensitivity wise, I'm having absolutely no tingling or there's no redness, I don't think, coming out. So yeah, that's good. No reaction there. Yeah, that just feels super smooth. Let me see if I can improve the lighting situation. There, that's a little bit better. I do have some new lighting on the way, which should be here tomorrow, so I'm very excited. So we can actually get comfy in our proper home with some proper lighting. Oh, we're getting very posh for 2019, aren't we? Woo! Okay, so that amount that I put on the back of my hand there that I was like concerned it was going to be far too much has actually gone on absolutely fine. I don't feel like anything's kind of greasy or slippy at all. There you go. I mean, as well, I'm like, the main thing for me, apart from quality, is price. I don't see, especially at the minute when there are brands like Revolution and NYX and, you know, these drugstore brands that are really doing a bloody good job at the minute, I don't see the point in spending 
so much money on the higher end brands unless there's a really big difference like you know if i'm using the drugstore products and they're working really really well and i'm really happy with them then why would i why would i th that's kind of the the point if i'm enjoying the product and it's a great price point as well that for me is an absolute must but if i then find something and i use something that's a bit higher end and i think okay yeah yeah all right well i can see you know that is even better again and i've just got something that i enjoy even more and i'll you know i'll save this for a special occasion or you know when my skin's feeling particularly brilliant um whereas this i don't know i'm kind of it's nice and it's a nice finish but to compare that to other silicone based you know similar kind of pore blurring primers i'm i'm kind of not seeing much of a difference to say that the revolution one is let me check to say that the revolution pore blur primer is six pounds and then i think i think off the top of my head in fact let me go and check and then the nyx pore filler is 11 pounds and both of those feel very, very similar in application and feel once they're on the skin. Um, I'm not sure that I would then reach for this at £26 for a full set. Um, a full set for a full size product. But to say it's come in a subscription box, I'm happy. I'm happy. And obviously I've only used a little bit of it. So that, to say it was only a sample size... Um, it's going to work for a few applications so even if you do save it it's it's still going to last but yeah i'm just not sure unless it does something absolutely drastically different once i put the foundation on top and you know kind of how long it lasts um i'm not sure it's making me want to spend the extra to buy the full size product if that makes sense okay speaking of foundation let me then go and apply the rest of my makeup and we will come back and i'll talk about how the foundation is sitting on top of the primer and we will get started on mascara highlighter and a lip color as well so bear with right so i'm back i've done my eyes i've done my base if you like the eye look and you want to see how i got that that is coming up on my channel as well so keep your eyes peeled to it another right so next i'm going to try mascara the mascara that we got in the birch box was the benefit roller lash which i have never tried i've never ever tried a benefit mascara i think the only benefit product i've ever tried was the um Oh, what was it was it high beam i think it was high beam like the liquid highlighter kind of deal but oh my god years ago and i think the first time i tried that i think my eldest was a baby and she's now 18 so it's been a while it's been a while so let's try this Ooh, i couldn't remember whether it was a big fluffy brush or a curved one so we've got the little curved um brush brush wand there we go been a long day right so let's try this Ooh. okay so one coat in and i don't feel like it's doing a massive amount but it has got right into the corner for those kind of shorter lashes but i don't know if that's because of the small brush um okay i do like quite a thick clumpy mascara because i've got um kind of longer thicker eyelashes i like them to kind of stand out a bit more but it's only one coat in so let's let's keep trying i think this one as well because of the size of it would be a really good uh lower lash one let's try that situation as well i have got ridiculously long lower lashes so this just gets ridiculous yes it's so good on the lower lashes just because the wand is so slim and small. Okay, I am loving it so far. Definitely on the bottom lashes. So let's do the other eye and then we can go in with the second coat and see what we think. Okay, so I feel like that eye's gone on a little bit better. I feel like that eye's kind of spaced them out a little bit better. So let's go in with the second coat and see what we think of that one. <laughs> I will say it's given a nice lift. I do have curly eyelashes, but it's giving them a really nice lift from the root which kind of curls even more. So if you've got straight lashes, venture that it's gonna actually give them a bit of a lift as well, which is brilliant. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely getting more of an effect with the second coat, definitely. 
I actually really like that. Let me zoom you in. Nobody get scared, you'll be okay. I actually really, really like that. And that's just my own lashes with just two coats. Okay. Yep, I really like that. A leak thought. Right, zoom out, zoom out, bugger off. Right, zoom out, zoom out. <gasps> okay. I think this was my favourite so far. I'm really liking this mascara. Right, next I'm going to go with the lip colour. And if you saw my unboxing, you will have seen that I could not pronounce the name of this whatsoever. Laritze, Laritze. Laritze, Laritze. You either know the answer or you will just decide for yourself. Um, this was one that I swatched on my hand and it stayed on my hand for what felt like weeks and months. Um, oh my God, this was not for moving. It's got a tiny, tiny, tiny little door for applicator, which leaks because teeny tiny lips over here. Well, not now I've had them done again. <laughs> right, let's go in with this then and see what we think. I've got no idea what this color is gonna look like with this eye color, but there we go. Let's just be brave. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot deeper than this, but it goes on a lot, a lot more sheer than you think, but it's not too sheer. It's just a really, it's almost like a, it's almost like a stain, like a deep stain rather than a really like opaque liquid lip. Does that make sense? Oh God, that was one dip. That was just one dip. And it's done the whole lip. It's done the whole lip and it's done the whole lip evenly as well and there's no patchiness to it it's already drying down but it's so supple that it does not feel like it's going to be drying in the slightest i feel like that's a really really wearable red color that is gorgeous <gasps> i was definitely going to say the mascara was my favorite but i don't know now <gasps> Right, let it, just give it a minute to settle and we'll see if it's transfer proof or not. But let's try the highlighter while that's kind of drying down and doing its thing. I feel like testing it now would be a bit cheeky seeing as how I've only just put it on. So let's move on to the highlighter. Okay, now the highlighter, when this came, um, I did actually test this when it came out of the box so i do know how this works and i do know that i really like it but if you didn't see the unboxing and you've clicked on this because you thought oh let's see what somebody thought of something they got in the box instead of just unboxing a subscription box and you didn't see how this performed then i will show you because i actually looked at it and thought yes i will totally use that again so this is the uh, cle essence moonlighter cushion um so it's a little compact like that it's got a little sponge in it like this um you flip this open and we've got a little sponge situation with a liquid highlighter infused into it so if you find liquid highlighters difficult to work with this is your man so we basically get the sponge dub 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 look at that just look at it all i've done is squidged it in tap 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 oh my god <laughs> and then i just get my little little ring finger there and just kind of blend that out and it does blend down to a gorgeous dewy sort of satiny finish which you can build up if you do like it to be blinding which i do um but yeah it's just so blendable and nice <laughs> just look just look at that that's so cute gorgeous I love it. So yes, that was the highlighter and I know I had technically had used it very briefly when we opened the box because I couldn't wait. I was too excited. Um, but I just thought I would show it you again because it was just so, so good. Let's see. <gasps> A tiny bit and that's from the inside of my lip and I really, really wiggled that around then. But that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna say a good old transfer proof red. <gasps> I have got some of my most trusted liquid lipsticks 
and the red ones will transfer. That's exciting. That means I can wear red lips when we go out and I can still give Paul kisses and it's not gonna go all over my drinks. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. So I really hope that has been helpful for you. I really hope that um, you've enjoyed it. Um, I did ask if anybody wanted me to test out these products in a bit more detail and he said yes. I got lots of answers saying yes please. So I hope that you found that useful. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought and what your favourite was and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to hit the notification bell and I will see you soon. Take care, bye.